Hi guys, welcome along. Uh, what I'd like to do in this video is just go over a couple of little cool tips and tricks that we can sort of uh, upscale an image and improve it in a couple of areas. Um, now, I have on screen here a, uh, a 500 pixel width image. It's uh, just something I've downloaded from the web and that's it at full size. Command 1 is just going to zoom in at the same size. And it is, if I were to look at this image here, uh, the image size it's telling me that it's 500 ish pixels and 72 pi now what I want to do is scale it up I want to be able to use this in a larger format uh, so what I'd like to do before I even go somewhere I'm just going to open up the preferences and you'll need to um, go ahead to your technology preview and you want to make sure that this button is enabled that's going to give you the best uh, possible chances of getting a larger format image okay so <clears throat> so what I might do firstly <clears throat> so I might just copy that image because I want to have a look, look at a for and after so I've just copied the image um, what I want to do now is and as you can see if I start zooming in you know we, we get this dreaded pixelation which is a bit of a no-no if we wanted to use that in a uh, printed environment so I'm going to use the image size menu and here we go so first things first you want to make sure that that is enabled that's as, as I say that's the best chance you're going to get to be able to upscale this image now I'm going to make this I don't know maybe 2,000 pixels let's go rather extreme and we're changing this to 300 dpi which is what we want um you can sort of see what we're getting if i click on this preview so that's before and that'll be after which i think is pretty amazing to be honest uh i feel like you know if you don't you know if you don't up this noise reduction meter you won't get as good a result um so look i'm gonna say that that's okay so boom and now my image resamples and we're looking at this at 100% size and we're actually not seeing any of that pixelation okay so what I'm going to do here is just going to paste this copy of the image that I copied earlier I'm just going to paste that there and that's just showing you before and after what we sort of what we went from to what we have now and I think you'll agree it's a pretty pretty stunning upscaling of that image um, just in this video i'd like to just uh maybe sharpen it a bit i don't think it needs a heck of a lot of sharpening but just to show you that you know this is this is something that you you might want to do from time to time if you upscale an image maybe you lose a little bit of detail but let's let's go ahead and do it so what i want to do is i want to duplicate my base layer so command j and i'm going to apply the filter down here uh high pass and this will sort of sort of well let's see what it does it sort of makes this grayscale version but it sort of adds this sort of line sort of you can sort of see a bit of detail coming through here so you can push this to get more of this sort of detail I'm, I'm going to keep it sort of in that sort of four five range I'm going to say that that's okay so that those are the areas that will sort of receive the most amount of sharpening all right <coughs> So then from there, you want to change this to uh, possibly overlay. This will give you the contrast. Anything sort of uh, over 50% grey will sharpen and anything uh, grey will not sharpen, essentially. So overlay to that. And so that's sort of with it and that's without it. It's kind of subtle. I could have pushed a little bit further, but it does just pop the image a little bit and I think that's something worth knowing the overlay once you've applied the high pass filter and that'll sort of give you a bit of this sharpening effect all right so we've really done a good job on that so far so just what I thought I might do in this video is just sort of show you how you can um, <coughs> dodge and burn a little bit in a non-destructive way um, dodging and burning if applied you know with you know a la you know just jumping straight into your dodge and burn tools will um you know darken areas and lighten areas um 
but it's it's a destructive sort of procedure. So here's a way that you can sort of um, do this in a non-destructive way, which is uh, a more preferable method. So I'm going to make a new layer now. Command Shift N, and I'll call this Burn or Dodge, just so we know what we're doing on this layer. <clears throat> and I'm going to fill this layer um, with a colour. And I'm actually going to fill it with 50% grey. Boom. All right. Now, I'm going to change this again to overlay, which sort of gets back to what we were saying earlier. Um, if I start to paint with my dodge and burn tools, or these tools here, um, I'm going to be able to apply this. Um, I'll make that a bit bigger. So I'm, if I were to now sort of paint if you like on my dodge and burn layer and i'm gonna i'm gonna burn first so i'll just burn and remember i've got my burn tool here on screen and so i can just um burn part of this image and i'm gonna just make that a little bit heavier so that we can see what i'm doing i can darken those areas not not that i think it needs much of it but just just more the point of the video is just to show that it, these things can be done and maybe maybe I can just um, darken her mouth a little bit um, holding your finger on the option tool will reverse it so it'll be dodging so I can bring a little bit of color out of her eyes just a little bit Think might don't make it look like an Android but so you can then you know some maybe this part of her shoulder needs just a little bit deeper colour, a little bit of exposure. Just illustrating the point. I'm going a little bit overboard, but just it's just highlighting the point. Uh, so now if we hide and show this dodge and burn layer, it is this is a completely non-destructive way that we can sort of do this. Um, look, that's really all I wanted to cover in this video, I think. Yep, so we've upscaled the image. We've used a little bit of sharpening to increase you know some detail and we've also done a bit of dodging and burning all right guys that's a real short video but i think there's a bit in that so to take away all right guys have a go at it practice all these things that you learn that's the only way to embed it in your memory all right guys i hope that's been of some assistance and i'll see you in the lesson